little jerks. I know what they're thinking. So I can see down into my garden that something has been over there. But I don't know if that's just the wind blowing it over or if they've been digging. I like can't really tell. I need to go down there to see. But I do see something right there that looks suspiciously like a bulb on top of the garage. To keep an eye out, we shall see. Look at this amaryllis. It's so crazy how much it's blooming. I just can't get over it. Like, this is by far the prettiest one I've ever had of any years that I have grown an amaryllis. Stunning. The flowers are enormous. My hand for scale, they're like as big as my hand. Good morning. Vlogmas day six. This is my outfit of the day. It's the Agnes top by Tilly and the Buttons. And I sewed it out of some Jersey fabric from Blackbird Fabrics. I love this stripe. It's like a royal blue and rust color. And then just some jeans and my fuzzy slippers because I'm a grandma. <laughs> Today is going to be a workday filled with a lot of longer planning call types of meetings. So I'm going to get a pair of socks that I showed you on vlog Vlogmas Day 1 that I'm working on right now um, to just knit on while I participate in these meetings. And then hopefully tonight we'll be doing something fun and New York-y out and about. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm sitting at my computer, got my coffee. And I've also got my current sock project. In case you missed the first episode of Vlogmas, I know it was a long one. It's because I did a projects vlog also, like kind of a projects podcast about what I'm working on, like right in the middle of it. Um, I'm knitting on this sock for Andrew. It's a vanilla sock that I added some stripes in, a contrasting heel, and now I'm just knitting on the foot before starting my recipe for a rounded toe. <laughs> It is lunchtime, so I am making avocado toast using the Bluestone Lane recipe. Bluestone Lane is a like cafe sort of that was in the uh, first floor of my former office building and they had the best avocado toast. And apparently I'm not the only person that thinks that because it's made a bunch of best of lists and it has like tomatoes and feta cheese and a tahini sauce that's on it too. It's really good. So I've decided I'm going to make um, a couple slices of really thick avocado toast using their recipe. I'll leave it linked in the description box below for you. Here it is, the finished avocado toast. It has the tahini drizzle on top of a toasted sourdough, the avocado smash that has some lemon, lime, salt, and pepper, and then feta, cherry tomatoes, and then some seasonal sprouts on top. Oh, and I want to um, go get some chili flakes to sprinkle on top of it too. I think that would be delicious. I am out in the garden on my lunch break, and it would appear that the squirrels did not get to it, magically, that they did not get to the bulbs. I think because I had it covered, I think it's fine. If they did, they might have gotten one that was like right on the edge right here, and that's what's up there. I can't really see if that is one or not, but fingers crossed that me deterring them with a tarp and with the landscape fabric works. So while there is daylight during my lunch break, I'm going to try to plant as many of these as I can before it gets dark. Wish me luck. I'm about halfway done. I have the front two parts over here done. Now I just need to do the back parts over there. This side is going to be kind of like the dark purples and whites scheme. This is going to be like a kind of buttery yellow and white scheme and then it's going to move on into like a bright pinks area and then over here is going to be more pink and like a bright reds up on these two sides okay i made good progress i got this side done this side done and i just have that back 
bed over there to finish. I have squirrel proofed it until I can work on it again. Hopefully this will be enough to deter them. It seems like it was yesterday for the most part. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go close the greenhouse door, trap that heat in there for the seedlings and then head back into work. Hello. Hello. We are headed to New York institutions. We are headed to Fidei. We're gonna see Trinity Church. We're gonna see World Trade Centers, mm -hmm. the Oculus, the New York Stock Exchange. All the ice king wants for Christmas is the love of a beautiful princess. The warming glow of friendship To feel like he belongs He will freeze you and kidnap you But it's only because he has to You want to talk about buildings that make you feel small Feel like teeny in the financial district they're so big, so big. You can't even imagine until you're here. For the most part, I always feel like New York is a very like neighborhoody kind of city where every neighborhood has like a distinct vibe and like a community feeling to it. But when I'm in Fidei, that's when I feel like I live in New York. It's kind of, intim it's a little intimidating. I used to work in this area for a very brief uh, amount of time. It's just more people. <laughs> that I've seen in like ages, like because most of the time it's a dead zone after work. So I feel like they must be really building it up more, but I still feel, there's still not that many people compared to other neighborhoods, especially at night. It's just most of the people commuting or going home. To be a spaz, no Merry Christmas Ice King. That building right there is called the Oculus. It's designed by Santiago Calatrava. Santiago Calatrava. Cool. And then this is World Trade One right here. We're gonna go inside the Oculus first. You deserve one nice thing, one nice thing for the Ice King. Fa la la. Oculus is basically a mall, which I think is kind of a shame, personally. Yeah, I think uh, it had a lot of potential as like a transit hub, but it's just like, it's a really clever building architecturally. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, I think the developers and the powers that be, we like, need to make more money from this. Yeah. next new year I'll raise my hand and raise my voice and turn and disappear I'll find my be lost in the This is one of the two memorial areas. I can't get up close because it's roped off for some reason, but it has the names etched in all around the edges and then a waterfall that trickles down and it kind of goes slowly into the center and then recycles up and falls back down again. It's really beautifully done. I wish you could see more of it. signs 
and landmarks are the only things in the snow that let me know how far I've come now and how far I have still to go I'll find my way smell of chicken and rice. Yeah, it smells good. I want it so bad, the food cart. But we have a meal plan. We should definitely stick to it, right? Right? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. You're really sure? Super sure. Oh, I want it. and then I'm gonna cook dinner for us after that. Just finished the workout, so now I'm gonna get started on cooking what is going to be a very late dinner. It's like just past eight o'clock right now, um, but we got home late from showing you guys fried eyes, so it's time to get cooking. I am making it's a skinny taste recipe. It's called coconut broth clams with lemongrass. And I'm not a big clams person. I mean, it's okay, but we make, we turn it into a soup essentially with chicken instead of clams. So it's really good. I'll leave the recipe linked in the description box for you if you're interested, but we add a lot of veggies to it, add a lot more stock to it, just kind of make it generally more soupy essentially. It's really, really good. I hear your voice 
softly calling. If I, if I could only have you near, to breathe, to breathe a sigh or two, I would, I would be happy just to hold the hands I love. Carter. On this winter's night with you, the smoke, smoke is rising in the shadows overhead. My glass, my glass is almost empty. I read, I read again between the lines upon each page. The words, the words of love. A little update on the painting before we go off to bed. Do you want to tell us what we what you worked on tonight? Uh, took another stab at the knife, no pun intended, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this cup of what will be whiskey one day, but right now it looks kind of like crude oil. <laughs> um, it'll it'll get brighter when I layer up, but. Uh, yeah, I like yeah. this new attempt. It doesn't really look like progress is being made, but um, just because there's a lot of like high detail elements in this range, so hopefully the cloth will go quicker. Also, you've been doing a lot of uh, like figuring out what doesn't work, so you've had to be like yeah, doing and yeah. redoing quite a bit, so. Yeah, different angles, different like this and that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think the angle is going to. Okay, now go. I think the handle is going to switch to wood. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it just doesn't look right. I... Yeah, it's too shiny of an element, and it doesn't really, like, fit with yeah. with the other objects. I feel I'm like wood would be more... i reflections from stuff yet. Yeah, I think like the wood... it wasn't in my original Photoshop, so it doesn't really, like, fit right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not good enough to do it on the fly. Looking good so far. It is looking good. I've been reading and then napping on the couch. <laughs> I am my mother's daughter. <laughs> okay, we're going to bed. Mm -hmm. Night. Night. Once again with you.